Hi, I'm Phyllis and we're here to make a chess pie. The first thing we're going to do is make the pie crust. And of course you can make this much cheaper than you can buy it and it's very easy. I've got one and a third cups of all-purpose flour and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to put in one half cup of shortening. Now I use Crisco usually because it's a little lighter than other shortenings. I'm just going to do this with my fingers very quickly. Set that cup aside. I'm going to work it in. And you might want to come up closer so that you can see it a little better. Work that Crisco into the flour just as quick as you can. Okay, this is good enough now. Now we're going to put in, we're going to start out with two tablespoons of cold water. And you can do that by just simply putting some ice in a bowl of water. We're going to start out with two. Now we're probably going to need three, but we'll start out with two. Now we're going to need another, just a little dribble. Maybe two more teaspoons, maybe. Okay. I'm going to form a little ball. Get it off my hands. flatten it out so that it's sort of in a disc shape. Sprinkle it with a little flour on both sides. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is roll this out using saran wrap. Okay. I'm going to roll it out using saran wrap. Right on my table. All right. Put the pie crust down. Well, first we probably want to sprinkle this just a little bit with some flour. And then we're going to start rolling this out. Mash it out as much as you can with your fingers. Again, doing this very, very quickly. Put a little flour on my roll here. Just start rolling. Going from side to side and try to keep it in as round a form as you possibly can. Now I'm going to roll this out to where it's about an eighth of an inch thickness. Just turn your saran wrap around a little bit. Yeah. See it started sticking, so what I'm going to do is just kind of mend it, put a little more flour on it, a little more flour on my roller. Alright, we've just about got it here. Here's my pie plate and it's a 10 inch and this is actually the type of pie plate to make fruit pies in but I like it with this chest pie also. So I'm going to see if it's big enough and it is. Alright now I'm going to take my saran wrap and I'm just going to flick that flour back up on it and smooth it out a little bit. And this is very easy. Just take it, fold it over comes right off, and then just pick up your saran wrap, place it in the middle, pull it right off, and just even it out in the plate. And if something tears, it's okay, you can just mend it, because this crust is not going to really show except just the top edge. 
Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just cut it off. And again, this is a 10 inch pie plate. Alright, now I'm going to just decorate the sides a little bit, not much, by just pinching them down just a little bit. Now, I'll tell you a little secret. When you're taking a pie or something, cake or anything like that, to like a church supper or something, some kind of covered dish supper, you want it to look homemade. Because when it looks homemade, that's the one the people will take out first. They don't want to see, um, you know, a pie crust that was bought at the grocery store. So if you can make this, you know, look a little messy maybe, and make it look homemade, they're going to like it a lot better. Because in fact, it will be better. All right, there we go. I'll clean that up a little bit. If you see any little air bubbles, you can just kind of poke them a little bit and then mash it back down. So that looks fine. Now I've got two teaspoons of butter. I'm going to just dump that in. Melted butter, now it wasn't hot. And I'm going to just, with my fingers, go over a little bit and get some up on this top edge also. All right, there's our pie crust. Now, we're going to be back in just a minute, and I'm going to show you how to make the filling. It'll be very, very quick. All right, see you in a minute. All right, we're back and ready to make our filling for the chest pie. You'll need two cups of light brown sugar four eggs, three-fourths a cup of melted butter. Now, let it sort of be just barely warm. Two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And we do have a secret ingredient, which I'll show you in a minute. All right, we're going to dump our brown sugar in. That's two cups, just slightly packed down. Three-fourths a cup of butter. Four eggs. Now, one of these eggs had a double yolk, and that's okay because it's really still the same amount of liquid. Just going to dump it all in at one time. Two teaspoons of vanilla. And you want to use pure vanilla extract. All right. Now, our secret ingredient. Two tablespoons of cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons. And this is what's going to give this pie filling a distinct taste. It really won't taste like vinegar, but it does change the taste of it. Now we're going to use our electric mixer and just barely mix this together. All right, that's all you need, just barely mixing it together. Now we're going to dump it into our pie shell. And we again have preheated our oven to 375 degrees. And we're going to cook this for about 15 minutes. Now see, some of that sugar will be completely dissolved in there, but that's okay. Just stir it around because you definitely do not want to over mix this. Okay. We're now going to bake this at 375 degrees, and we'll see you back again in just a minute. Here's the recipe for the chess pie. I'm going to preheat the oven to 375. You need two cups of light brown sugar, three-fourths a cup of melted butter, 
four extra large eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, two tablespoons of cider vinegar, and one unbaked pie shell that's 10 inches. You're going to whisk or beat all the ingredients together and then just pour them into your pie crust. Bake it for about 15 minutes at 375 and then continue baking at 325 for about 45 minutes or until it's set. There's the ingredients for the pie crust. You just want to make that real quick when you're making the uh, pie crust. And the, uh, just watch your water. I use white lily flour and I ended up using um, two tablespoons of water plus two teaspoons worked out fine for me. Again, don't forget your secret ingredient. And there it is right there, apple cider vinegar. Now I'm going to go over and let you look at the pie that's now cooking in the oven. And don't look at my dirty oven because I don't I don't do the self-cleaning except in the winter time and it's summertime now. So there it is. So it's got about 20 more minutes to cook. All right, when it's done, we'll be back. Okay, here's the chest pie. It's completed uh, cooking in the oven and I did end up cooking it for a, a total of about an hour and five minutes now. It would certainly depend on your oven, but you need to turn uh, the oven on 375 for 15 minutes and then possibly put it to 325 for 45 to 50 minutes. But just stick a little toothpick in it while it's in the oven. If it comes out clean, you know it's done. All right, again, there's the chest pie. I hope you will try and enjoy it.